Hello guys and welcome to lesson 2 of my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import and organize media in Adobe Premiere Pro. So as you can see my timeline over here, I have a lot of files over here. Now the challenge with this is that if you don't organize your media rightly, when you have too many files in your project panel over here, editing for a movie or, or you're editing for a, uh, a wedding or something, you can miss out files and it could waste so much of your time so rather than editing like this it's better you create folders for all of your projects for example this is a project that i edited for a client that is still ongoing it has lasted over two years and is still ongoing so the best way is for you to organize your media for us to begin now i'm going to go ahead and hit ctrl a over here to select all the files that i have over here and hit delete just to start afresh there are a couple of ways to import medias into Premiere Pro. But the first thing I like to do is to come over to my project panel over here and come down to this little folder icon over here. It's called Bean in Premiere Pro. Select this new Bean. And if I scroll up, you'll see that a Bean has been created over here. All I need to do is to right click and hit Rename Bean. And I could call this Photos. If you are going to be working with Photos and hit OK. You can change it from this view to maybe a list view. I prefer to use a list view or an icon view, but I kind of prefer the list view. So I will deselect it because if I don't deselect this folder, if this folder is selected, anything I'm creating will be going into this folder. So I'll deselect it and select the new bin here and call this bin music for all my music files and deselect it and select this new bin once more and call this video and deselect it. So it depends on how you choose to organize your media. You could create beans for B-rolls. You could create beans for scene one. If you're shooting a movie, you could create folders based, based on scene one, scene two, and all of that. So now that we've organized it the way I want to organize for my particular project, the next thing I need to do is to import media into Premiere Pro. There are a couple of ways to import media into Premiere Pro. The first way is to right click on a blank space over here and select import. And this dialog box is going to appear. All you need to do is to look for the folder where you have that item selected. And if I select this video, for example, and hit open, it's going to be added into Premiere Pro. Now what you need to do is to select this video and drag it into the video folder that I've created over here and release it. And automatically you'll notice that this video has been added into this video folder. If I close the video folder, you cannot see it. But if I select the video folder, you can see it over here. Another way to import is for me to open this video folder over here. So I'm now inside the video folder. I can now over here, right click and hit import. And maybe I want to add this video over here, select it and open it. Now this video has been added into the video folder. So we have two videos. To go back, all you need to do is to select this back arrow over here. And if I select this arrow, you can see that we now have two videos inside the video folder over here. Another way to import in Premiere Pro is, for example, I want to import a photo. I can select this photo folder over here and double click it. And because I'm inside this photo folder over here, if I come over now to file and scroll down and select import and go to where I have my pictures, and select the folder, I could select one image and hit open, and it's going to be added to that picture folder, or I could come over here to file and select import and hit the right arrow to select the images I want and hit open. Or alternatively, I could come over here to file and scroll down to import. And if I want to randomly select, I could just hold down control and select the ones I want and hit open. Now, if I go back by using this back arrow, you can see that my project panel is still organized. If I select this arrow next to photos, we have these pictures inside my photo folder over here. And if I close this, you can see that this project panel is still organized. Another way to import in Premiere Pro is to hit Ctrl plus I and Come over to, let's say I want to in, in, import a music file, select music and scroll down to the music you want, select the music you want and hit open. 
and this music has been added. Now, because it's a music file, I'm going to select it and drag it and place it on top of this music folder and automatically it has been added into the music folder over here. Another way to import files in Premiere Pro is to go to the Window Explorer and go to the file which you want to import in Premiere Pro. Let's say I want to import this image over here. All I need to do is to select this image. Let's click on it and drag it into Premiere Pro and hover it over where I want it, the Photos folder, and release it. And automatically it has been added into my Premiere Pro over here. And that's it guys for now to import and organize clips in Premiere Pro. See you in my next video.